Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker. It's been a little minute, beloveds. I am willing you all are enjoying Scorpio season. To any of you who have already celebrated your special day, your physical days, I send extra love to y'all. To anyone whose soul return may happen to have fallen on today's date, which is what the fifth of November. Yeah, today's the fifth, so it's seven seven. So um, I will that you all are enjoying this season. It's been very, um, it's been very powerful energy. We had the eclipse energy, and I was discussing in the former readings how this is going to be cutting you free from a lot of uh, toxicity. There's going to be a lot of deaths and transformations. And if you've been paying attention to what's going on globally, there's been absolutely that. But um, we are no strangers to that process because we all experience it. This is our energy and we already know how to navigate it. So I will that you all are using your resources and utilizing this time to really um, tap in and, you know, just invent yourself. I'm hearing the word reinvent yourself. This is a perfect time to get back to the drawing board, uh, to really walk in your truth, to walk in your authenticity. So, you know, we are the conduits of change. Change is inevitable. Being fixed signs, it's really hard for us to, um, to a, you know, kind of like adjust to change. But once change is um, once we, you know, push forward past, you know, our own, <laughs> our own uh, discomfort, you know, the change is just like, it's, it's flawless. We make it look very easy, even though it was a whole process. <laughs> so I will that you all are in a beautiful space. I will that you all are feeling strong, feeling clear. Um, clarity is important right now. I know a lot of people are struggling with their thoughts or struggling with, you know, making decisions. So I hope that you all are really, um, you know, really clear on what it is that you are aiming for, shooting for, or in the pursuit of. Uh, welcome anyone that may be new to this platform. My name is Q, as I've mentioned, and I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively, and I'm also clear audience. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I utilize music um, during the reading and the way that it works, the name of the song, the lyrics within the song, the name of the artist, timestamp on the clock, the numbers on the cards, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and everything just blends beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Know that you are more than just your sun sign. You have a moon sign. You have a rising. We literally are all signs. Um, so it would behoove you to pull up your natal chart and get familiar with your placements, um, with your other uh, planets and see where, you know, those things correspond or how those those alignments correspond to you and what you may be experiencing. So yeah, I encourage you to do that. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video is popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to click play, whether by means of the timestamp, whether by means of the title of the video, that was all divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. I want to just make a quick note. T, um, that was the other winner for the giveaway. Please reach out to me and provide me with your email. It has to be a Gmail account. I've already completed your reading and it's just waiting to be sent to you. So please, if you are tuning and tapping in, um, email me at psychmajor, P-S-Y-C-H-M-A-J-O-R at ymail.com. So T, Meek, um, the other winner of the uh, giveaway, please 
please, please reach out to me with your email so that I could send you your reading. It was good. It was juicy. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this reading, beloveds. Um, I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. I thank you all for your love. I rotate that love right back to you, beloveds. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and proceed with the read. But before we do, you already know we have to do some house cleaning. We got Katara right here with us as always. She's always right next to us when we get the readings going. And I truly feel like she brings some positive vibration. So let's go ahead and do the house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the reading, Ashe. Call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high, God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So let's see what time we have on the Kliz Ark. It is currently 1.30. Can you see that? It's 1.30, so that breaks down to 4. So 4 deals with the heart chakra. So I absolutely feel a lot of you all, as we already know and have heard in countless readings, that there's been a lot of healing going on. There's been a lot of self-reflection. There's been a lot of persevering through trauma. Um, I literally saw this meme today, and it was... Um, a big, strong, burly man looking at his reflection and the reflection was that of a child and it spoke to the importance of healing your inner child, you know, because we all suffer from past trauma and just because you grow older in age, that child that was traumatized will still exist in you. So I feel for many of my beloved Scorpios, that you all have been doing just that. The heart chakra is a very essential part of who you are. You know, we are emotional signs. We, we are the ones that bring the love, the care, the tenderness, and that emotional balance, that emotional intelligence into the equation. And for many of you, you had to learn to love yourselves because maybe those relationships that you were participating in, it was potentially just one-sided where you were overcompensating, um, self-sabotaging, doing too much, giving too much and not getting very much back in return. And it left you feeling emotionally bankrupt. So I feel that there's been a focus, you know, um, on just really loving on you, really taking care of you, prioritizing, pardon me, yourselves. And, um, when you do that, then you are really, um, standing in, you know, in, in your power and that power, you know, begins to resonate out into the ethers, into the atmosphere, the stratosphere, and it really, you know, will make you more attractive. So you could potentially, you know, be coming into some very powerful unions because that four also is the vibration of 1111. So I do feel something beautiful can manifest during this 1111 portal, this gateway that is opening up. I feel that it is bringing blessings, wish fulfillments, uh, great news. It could even be, you know, the precipice of you feeling a sense of stability in your lives. For some of you all, you could absolutely be relocating, you know, you could be, um, you know, just developing a very strong bond or union with someone coming into some sort of sacred partnership or spiritual partnership union with someone um, special. You know, this could be in regards to love, 
This could even be, you know, speaking to your business um, endeavors, you know, your career endeavors. So I'm getting a sense of, you know, there being this, uh, this strong balance that you are, you know, you're feeling like things are balancing out, things are more harmonic. Um, and I do get a strong sense of like, you know, maybe even a masculine, a divine masculine, because the four does deal with the emperor could be coming towards you or some of you divine, divine masculines that are listening, you are in your power. You know, you're starting to be more, you know, assertive. You, you're going after what you want. You're, you're starting to really see things transform because that, that divine masculine, that emperor is a very powerful energy. He embodies all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens, uh, I mean, of all of the kings. And um, the same thing is applicable to the, the, the empress. She embodies all of the char characteristics and attributes of all of the queens. So that energy is a very powerful one because it's, it's an energy of, you know, self-love, as I said, but also of, you know, being able and willing to tap into your divinity. You could be tapping into your creative um, gifts as well. You could be really uh, building, you know, a very strong foundation for yourself. And as I said, that is not a very shy or meek energy. It's very powerful. It's a go-getter mentality. Um, it's a very determined and willful uh, energy that that emperor and that empress uh, embody. And that's what I'm feeling because the four is also... As I said, it's it's a sturdy number. It's a stable number. Um, when you think of the way that you are made, you know, you have four limbs, you know, so, um, and that's what keeps you erect. That's what keeps you standing perpendicular. Um, that's what keeps you feeling, um, you know, very balanced and harmonized. So I'm just getting a sense of that energy. Uh, but I also feel like, you know, there could be some love coming into the equation. I have a feeling that there's been you know, this recovery period. That's what I'm hearing in my mind's eye because I'm also seeing like the Four of Swords where there's been a long pause uh, so that you can really reflect. This was intentional time away, time apart. Uh, some of you all could have, you know, been out of relationships for a certain duration of time, but it was, it, it was something that you felt you had to do so that you could focus on yourself and heal. Um, so many people make the mistakes of, you know, growing or, or going through, pardon me, you know, like some sort of uh, toxic relationship and then they rebound and get into another relationship and they bring the same toxicity into that next relationship. And it's just this perpetual vicious cycle. And I feel that many of you have chosen, you know, have made a choice, a decision to, you know, not date, to really heal, to really focus on healing, really focus on yourself. Um, and that required self-discipline. So you took the time to really, really, you know, do internal self audits. And that is how you were able to heal your inner child. That's how you were able to heal at a soul level. Um, and that's a beautiful, beautiful energy to open up with. So, you know, I do feel that energy. Um, that number that we did see was also, it said 130. Um, and when you look at it, it's 13. So that also speaks to death, you know, and you rule death. You rule death, transformation, startling metamorphosis, but you also rule rebirth and regeneration and the reemergence of someone completely new, different, refined, rejuvenated, and powerful. So that's just what I'm picking up intuitively without the cards. Uh, we're going to see what the cards actually have to say, but that is very beautiful energy, beloveds. Um, what we have playing on the playlist, let me not show my passwords, um, is we have, look at this. So we have, uh, who is this? Kanye West. So this is called All Falls Down. So when it all falls down, it sounds like the tower. So many of you have gone through those tower moments. And that's why I was picking up, you know, the fact that you could be rebuilding. If something's destroyed, then you have to rebuild. And this time around, second time around, you're going to rebuild on a more solid foundation. You're not going to make the same mistakes and use, you know, certain, um, 
not even ingredients, but you're not going to use certain materials that you know will not be able to sustain. So this time around, there's going to be more intention on how you rebuild. You're going to make sure that, you know, where you're rebuilding, it isn't marsh. It isn't, you know, underneath the, you know, the, the, the foundation isn't weak. You're going to make sure that you're, you're going to be able to build and it's going to flourish and grow and it's going to be able to sustain. So this is a very powerful energy of that resilience that I was picking up on and just the sturdiness, you know, um, so we're going to see what the cards have to say, beloved, but that's Kanye West. Some of y'all could be from Chi-Town. Some, um, some of y'all could be on the West coast as well. So let's see what we have coming and going out, going on with the energy Oracle. Well, the numerology, pardon me. You know, I like to start off with the numerology beloveds. So we have the number three here. So we started off the reading with the number four the empress so we have the number three the empress energy i also feel that this is you taking your power back being very strong refocusing and rechanneling your energy of pain and hurt and trauma and letting it work for you you know um literally turning pain into power some of y'all could be just tapping into your creativity you, you you realize that your divinity is creation your divinity is your artistry or your expression, you know, of yourself. This is also showing that you've reached a level of self-mastery. As I said, with that four, that's the emperor. With the three, that's the empress. So I do feel a sense of harmonic energy, you know, you feeling balanced, things becoming more stable even. I'm getting a sense of also just reaching that level of self-mastery, um, you know, growing more wiser, learning how to navigate situations, and you learn through trial and error. That's the cycle of life, you know, there are no mistakes. You know, when you start to grow, you realize that those are not mistakes. Those were just, you know, stepping stones to you getting to where you needed to go, you know, where you needed to um, get to. And, you know, this is a beautiful energy because um, it shows that there's been some sort of illumination. Um, there's been some sort of just an awakening. I'm hearing an awakening even um, taking your power back. You know, the three deals with that solar plexus and you've been more prone nowadays to trusting your gumption, trusting your intuition and using discernment in matters um, that you find yourself in. You know, uh, things have fallen down. Things may have, you know, gotten out of control, um, but I do feel like nothing is um, accidental. Everything happens for a reason. And this was absolutely to reinvent you and to, you know, have you um, grow through that experience. So this number three is showing the strength that you exude. I also feel, uh, that you are manifesting something and this manifestation is going to bring in a lot of happiness. I absolutely feel that you've healed from past pains, wounds, traumas, because I'm also seeing the three of swords, but through the, the three of swords, like I said, you've turned the pain into power. So this is, you know, the epitome of what strength looks like, you know, um, you've had that opportunity to kind of assess things that you've endured or circumstances that you have been through. And now you are in a place where I feel like you're more stronger, you're more courageous, you're more assertive. Um, I just feel power. I feel vitality and I feel you're stronger, um, because of what you've been through. So this is very beautiful energy, Scorpios. So let's tap in. So we have now, um, we have Nas. This is called Get Light. So I get a sense, you know, with that get light, I feel like you have shed a lot of that negative energy. You've even, you know, kind of like cut yourself free from all of the dead weight, you know, false belief systems, false habits, faulty belief systems, ideologies, bad habits, behaviors, uh, purged yourself from people, places and things that could have been trying to hold you back or, you know, keep you bound, keep you stuck and stagnant. Um, but now you're lighter and you're lighter because you're no longer energetically anchored by the people, places, and things that were hindering you. So with this three, that's the strength and the, 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 the courage and the wise dome it took for you to, you know, to overcome those situations. Um, Nas is also from Queens. So I do feel, as I said, you know, you've reached that level of self mastery, even if you're a, a king, you know, cause I see Nas as a king, you know, so you, you, even if you're a king, you've, you've reached the level of self mastery, you've matured, you've grown and you've grown stronger. You've grown wiser. You have a deeper, more profound understanding 
of yourself, of the world, how to navigate difficult circumstances. Um, so this is a beautiful energy of just, you know, even the sun, it provides light. It provides illumination. I feel like you now see things very crystal clear. Um, so this card just jumped out as I was doing the split. So this is um, absolutely your message because you see how the cards are backwards and this card literally jumped over here. So you see that? So I was doing a split to show you what was on the other side and we see nature. So this is a happy ending that you all are coming into. So this is another three. So this nine, three breaks down to 12. That's three. So you've done a lot of, of internal work, a lot of self-reflection, introspection, because that 12 deals with the hangman. So I absolutely see that spirit puts you in a very sacrificial position. As I said, I felt like you all have really been taking the time to work on yourself. And in order to do that, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to take onus, accountability, you know, responsibility for things that you may have allowed or things that you may have, you know, um, accepted. Um, but that's not mistakes. That's just growing pains. And I feel like, you know, however a situation started, um, that, you know, how toxic, how volatile, I feel it's going to end, um, very happily for you. Like I said, I feel with this 1111 portal that you have wish fulfillments, blessings, opportunities, good news, people coming into your life. And it's just, it's a happy ending to, you know, a very toxic, uh, beginning. You know, you could have been stuck in a toxic or volatile relationship or a volatile job. Um, you could have been living in a community with a bunch of haters. Um, you could have been dealing with a lot of you know, negativity thrown at you, but the way that it's ending is beautifully. Um, and I do feel like there's a lot of planning and preparing and strategizing. Maybe you are in the process of relocating. So you could be, you know, getting ready to, uh, get the movers on deck, get the truck that you need. You're getting your finances together. You're boxing up your, your goods. You know, you're, you're getting prepared for this move, for this transition in your life. So the actual cards that are in the split is we have the three and the 74. So that's seven, seven. So this is confirmation. Um, that you absolutely have some good news coming in with nature. I feel things are going to be a la natural now. I feel like you are feeling more like yourselves. I feel that you are spending a lot of time or you have, you know, been out in nature a lot and it's brought a lot of downloads or divine interventions, perhaps through synchronicities, or maybe you've been bumping into beautiful animal totems. Uh, maybe you've been finding feathers. Uh, maybe you have been just getting downloads and transmissions by the, the, the second, you know, um, and these things are just making you feel, you know, more motivated or more inspired. I also feel like with the 74, the 11, um, this is saying that you are also in balance when you are out in nature, because this is a very intricate, um, time to really start or not intricate. Um, it's a very important time to really ground yourself, to release um, a lot of the negativity, a lot of the energetic baggage, uh, because being empaths and being as emotional and, and, and giving as you are, you also have to, uh, be strong enough to, you know, love yourselves, but also release, purge the things that you kind of take on as empaths. So grounding is very important. I went outside today, uh, and took my nature walk, had my little 10,000 steps in, and, um, you know, I always, at the end of my walk, I take my shoes off and I ground myself. Uh, sometimes I'll take a nature walk in the, um, you know, I'll take a nature walk without my shoes. Uh, but because the temperatures were so low today, I waited till after I took my nature walk. It was about 40 degrees and I took my shoes off and I instantly just felt like, like this peace. Like I just felt like, like the, you know, earth just took all of that, 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 that energy, you know, that I was carrying or whatever baggage, um, it just took it away, you know, and I just felt more harmony, harmonized. So I definitely feel spirit is saying, you know, get out in nature, ground yourself. It's a good way for you to even, 
you know, receive those downloads. Some of you all wake up in the AM, do some sun gazing. That's another um, activity to really um, decalcify and activate your pineal gland so that you can get downloads, so that you can see things very crystal clear. Um, but this is also saying you may also, as I said, there could be some, some, uh, some information coming in because sevens deal with the crown chakra, but it also deals with the chariot. I feel there's good news coming. I feel there's powerful movements forward. Um, I feel like there's yes answers. I feel like the, the portals are opening up for you and the blessings are pouring in. And I definitely get, you know, because there's seven, seven that breaks down to 14. I feel your patience. And I feel, you know, just your determination is what's bringing this good news because 7-7 seven, seven breaks down to 14. That 14 is the temperance and it's really, you know, showing that you have been patient in this process. And there was a need for things to be balanced out, which is why your patience was required. And I feel like you, you know, you could have grown impatient at times, but for the most part, I feel spirit is acknowledging um, and very much aware of how patient you have been. And now there's good news rushing in. I feel, you know, cause that 14 breaks down to five. So do feel like you're receiving positive news, something you've been waiting for or anticipating. I also feel this is spirit's way of acknowledging your maturation, your growth. And that's why you are insured and assured, um, a very happy ending. Um, so this is very beautiful. So let's see what we have, Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What messages do you have for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpio spirit during this powerful Scorpio season? So you see your cards have just been chosen. So spirit is just choosing your cards. You see that six love? So absolutely, there could be a lover coming in. And look what's hiding underneath. It just kind of, I put the cards down and this card is peeking out and it says music. So it's telling me to listen to this song, but that five um, deals with the throat chakra. So it says Nas, Raekwon, and Mob Deep. It says an I for an I. So with Mob Deep, Rising Power, the Prodigy, he's also a fellow Scorpio. So with I for an I, I feel like this is saying like justice because when you look at that, you see that six and five breaks down to 11. 11 is the justice card. So spirit told me to look at the song. So an eye for an eye. So you're getting your just due and your just due is coming in the form of love. I heard self-love makes you more attractive. So by you taking that time to heal yourselves, you taking that time to nurture yourself, to prioritize yourself. Now that makes you attractive, as I said. And so now that you are exuding all this self-love, confidence and wisdom, wise dome from your experiences, now that makes you attractive. So you may have the yin to your yang, the yang to your yin coming in 11 is half of 11 11 and so perhaps during 11 11 this could be one of the many blessings that you have um to come in because it says love is coming in and you have to first love yourself before you can love anyone else you cannot pour from an empty vessel so this is what i feel spirit was really um forcing you to focus on i also feel someone thinks of you a lot communicates with you a lot telepathically this six love is like the lovers so this is someone that you do have a lot in common a like mind someone that you may share a lot of commonalities a lot of similarities um someone that you will say me to or some and you may feel like this is a godsend, someone that you you definitely um, will know that your angels and ancestors have aligned you with this person because this is someone that's solid. This is a solid uh, blue card. I definitely get a sense of the communication is going to be very fluid. I feel that the two of you are absolutely um, together. There, there's harmony here. There's, there's a mutual love, mutual respect, mutual appreciation for the other. And someone may also be Claire audience. Someone may be a musician. Uh, music may be a very intricate part of your life. Like you may not be able to, you know, start your day without music. Um, some of you all could be musicians. You may play instruments. You may be producers. You may just, you know, love to listen to music, binaural sounds. You may be sound therapists. But there's there's something um, about music that just brings a sense of peace, brings a sense of tranquility. Um, so I'm feeling that. But with eye for an eye, I also feel like you're getting your just through and things are working out in your favor. And we do see that, especially with this happy ending card, which chose itself. Now you have your other message. Messages. So what you have here is rebirth. I spoke to rebirth. So it's 16. So this is who or what you're attracting to you. 
So you are attracting um, this transformation. You know, you have been doing the work. Seven and three reduces to 10. And 10 is all about endings, but every ending denotes a new beginning. And with this rebirth, you're emerging as someone new, someone different, someone transformed with a completely different perspective, ideology, belief system, and maybe even a spiritual practice that you may have been refining or discovered during your journey. But this is absolutely saying that there's a new version of yourself. You've grown personally, spiritually, emotionally, um, energetically, and spirit is acknowledging that. And that makes you, uh, more attractive. That makes you, um, you know, more desirable. I heard the word desirable. Someone's very passionate about you, who or what you're attracting to you. Someone else may, someone else, um, may have gone through a major transformation as well. Uh, perhaps this is someone that you may know already. Um, and I feel maybe, you know, this is someone that you may know from your past, but I'm getting with the 10, um, that there's definitely something new coming in. Uh, if this isn't someone, you know, cause I'm getting like, I, I keep hearing past life love cause you know, the six, uh, the lovers, you know, that is an energy of, you know, past life, um, yin yang, you know, cause it has that dualistic energy. Uh, but with this seven, uh, that's the crown. Uh, that also deals with the chariot. So whoever this is or whatever this energy is, it's it's rushing in um, or it, there's transformation because there's been some form of balance or they're restored, you know, um, and this is beautiful. So how they feel about you is 74 nature. So someone may love you. You may be just like naturally beautiful. You may not be someone that wears a lot of makeup. You don't have to do a lot. Um, you just can, I'm hearing get up and go. Someone may love that you are just very naturally beautiful. Um, some of you may have natural hair. Um, my melanated sisters know what I mean by that. Um, where you don't have to, you know, and no, no judgment for anyone who wears weaves or wigs and things like that. But maybe you are someone who's natural. You wear your hair naturally. Um, no perm, no, no nothing. And they may love that. Um, maybe this is someone that just feels this connectedness, this cohesiveness, this bond, this synergy, this chemistry. Um, this is someone you may have per potentially bumped into out in nature. Someone that you have a natural, it's just a natural flow um, of conversation that stimulates you. Uh, but someone really feels like you're also someone that they could give to equally because I'm also getting with that 7411 breaks down to two. This could potentially be like, you know, the two of cups energy where because you are now, um, you know, loving yourself and that makes you more self, uh, more attractive. Um, perhaps now someone is coming in to match your fly. Uh, but there's some, a very natural bond or something very natural, um, that is going to flow with this connection or with this person because they see you as someone beautiful. They see you as wise. They know that you're very intuitive, very sharp because this is purple on the inside of that symbol. And this is green and the green deals with the heart chakra. The purple deals with the crown. Um, and as you can see that seven is the crown. The four is, you know, the heart chakra. So this is showing that there is a very strong, um, connection. Like I said, this is someone that, uh, that sees you on many levels. Like they are attracted to you spiritually, emotionally, um, mentally, you stimulate this person. Um, and they feel it's very like a natural flow. Like they don't have to put in a lot of work or you don't have to do a lot to, to just, you know, they just feel grab like this, this gravitation. It's like a gravitational pull. Um, but they also feel your, your, humble, you're, you're, you're earthy, you're down to earth, you're grounded. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're someone who's, um, very well balanced. Like you, you just have a very peaceful Zen like energy and, and, and it's very loving and inviting and it's calming. And, and this is just something that they've been searching for. You know, this is a decision. I feel they're going to choose you um, choose to come towards you because this is the type of love that you bring. Um, you bring that sense of balance. You bring that sense of peace. What's hidden in the energy is we have domest domestic harmony. So there is, um, with that 46, I am seeing that there is perhaps something that could be ending, you know, tens are all about endings and there is an ending because someone is no longer in this place of peace and harmony. Uh, perhaps someone has discovered or realized that maybe they 
would be happy by their self or on their own. Or maybe this is someone who's saying, hey, you know, I could have it all. Because this could also be seen as like the Ten of Pentacles, where someone is feeling, you know, a lot of love, um, a lot of balance. You know, so this domestic harmony, I'm getting a different energy from that today. Usually when I see the 10, I always feel, oh, that's an ending. But today I'm feeling like, nah, that's like the 10 of Pentacles where, you know, someone really feels that they can have it all with you. You know, so this is what's hidden. You could have it all even, you know, not only can you have it all, um, in terms of love or relationships, but you could have it all in terms of your career. Um, I feel like there's a, just this, this energy of generosity. You know, like this, the universe is being generous. The universe is, is literally pouring in uh, wish fulfillments. This 10 is also um, deals with, you know, the wheel of fortune. So when you think of, you know, receiving the, the wish fulfillments and the blessings, I feel like that spirit opening up that portal and, you know, blessing you with the, uh, you know, with the answers to your prayers or blessing you with the fulfillment of your wishes and also, you know, domestically, um, your relationships improve, your your work relationships, everything in your cipher, everything in your potential orbit, it, it improves, you know. So that 10 today is giving me, you know, uh, the wheel of fortune. So something that's destined for you is coming in. And I'm hearing sirens, you know. So there could have been, you know, this, this potential um, perhaps... There could be a potential delay or blockage or someone could be trying to delay or block something. But I absolutely feel like there's nothing for you to worry about. I feel like spirit just wants you to use your first eye to see. So we have three. That's ten. That's one. One, one, one. That's three. Three, one. That's four. So we, we're back at four. For some of you all, the four, again, that deals with the heart chakra. But that's also about, you know, the four of pentacles I'm seeing where, you know, this could have potentially been like just this energy, not four of pentacles, pardon me, the four of swords, where there could be this energy where there's like no contact or there's this energy of kind of like you're, you're shut off emotionally because you're healing. And I feel like spirit is saying that, you know, you, you don't, you don't want to be closed off and blocked off too long. It's time to be open. It's time to be receptive. Um, and more importantly, it's time to surrender. Um, because there's no need to, you know, to, you know, um, block off, block yourself off. Cause you could block your blessings. Um, we have steel pulse and this is called cry, cry blood. So maybe some of you all are still in this very, um, self-loathing, um, place. And I feel like spirit is saying, you know, it's time to, you know, kind of snap out of it. Cause I feel discontent, boredom. Um, and the more you stay in that energy, you could get stuck in that energy. So that's why I feel like this is next to the nature card. Because spirit is kind of reminding you, get out of nature. Go out and take a walk. Go out and ground yourself. Go out and get some water. Um, I went and saw this. Uh, we, we have this beautiful lake. We have a, several lakes here in North Carolina. But that's one of the things that I did, um, you know, for my solar return, just to recharge, to recalibrate. And um, I went to this beautiful body of water and when I tell you you know just seeing the water but also just being you know seeing the sunlight just bounce off of the water being amongst all of the trees and hearing all of the sounds you know in nature it is such a, a, a peaceful and and empowering energy that you feel you feel instantly you know instantly recharged if you went there with any type of concerns or worries they are instantly lifted off your shoulder and I encourage each of you to do that I feel like that's what spirit is saying some of you are just stuck in a rut you know stuck in a rut because perhaps things may not be moving as quickly or perhaps you feel um you know like I said discontent and bored um but that boredom is something that's self-imposed because you can, as long as you have breath, you have opportunities. Uh, everything doesn't require money. A lot of people have that false narrative that, oh, well, I can't do nothing because I don't have any money. Like I said, you could go out and, and, and take a nature walk and see so many things. If you live in New York, go down to Central Park. I know a lot of people that have lived in New York all their life and never been to Central Park and, you know, come one with nature. There's literally ponds and lakes and trees and animals. And it's just like 
go and 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 be one with nature and and really connect really ground yourself it's very important especially now because the planet is changing you know the world as we knew it has changed it's changing you know the matrix you know babylon is falling <laughs> and so you want to be able um to also release and purge you know some of those faulty belief systems ideologies that you may have developed throughout the years so in order to get those downloads and those transmissions to become your new version of yourself because remember this rebirth is what you're attracting to you so you have to be open you know to to the change that spirit is um you know implementing so i said all of that to say that you know with this four energy um absolutely emotionally um, stand your ground emotionally be intelligent um, trust you know trust what you're feeling um, trust what you're feeling also because you have to learn to speak energy as well you know so if things don't feel right or sit right because the alarm whenever I hear sirens going off or alarms or things like that I feel like that spirit just you know kind of forewarning you of red flags potential red flags potential warnings um, and so just be mindful because that could be the reason why, um, you know, I was initially getting with the 10 that there could be some endings, um, but you could be trying to, you know, control the narrative. And sometimes you just have to surrender, let go and let the most high, let God, um, handle it and take it from there. So the next card you have is pride. So that's the reason why. So the pride is why you were, um, why I was picking up on, um, you know, this, this, this discontent and boredom, but it is at another 10. So that is saying that you have let the pride aside. You have let the ego go. And now there's this liberation. So this is one, one. Now there's a decision that you have to make which choice, you know, you're stuck at a fork in the road. So which choice do you decide? So this one and this one, that's five now. So this is you learning. This is you, you know, implementing, you know, now you have to apply what you've learned. The application of knowledge becomes wise dome. So everything that you've been learning on your journey, everything you've been growing through, now it's time to apply it. Spirit's waiting for you to apply it because that's what the five is all about. The Hierophant energy is really about studentship and learning and growing and maturing and elevating to the next level. We have to evolve. If you don't, whatever's not growing is dead. And so that's spirit's way of saying when you're stuck in the ego, that means you're wearing a false mask. You're using, you don't utilizing these false facades to survive and spirit wants you to let go of the ego let go of the need to feel like you got to be clammed up closed up and you know protect your it in order to protect yourself because now you're you're prepared you know you're more mature so you now can utilize your words to express what you need you could utilize your words to stand your ground speak your truth and say it with with compassion say it with respect but say it with you know with with conviction you know what i'm talking about so this is spirit's way of saying that and look at that we got love language sitting here playing by talib kwali so your love language now has changed i feel like you also have discovered your love language during this journey you know um perhaps you are part of relationships as i said initially that were just kind of one-sided you know it was like you was doing all the giving and everybody was doing all the taking and that ish got old and now spirit is like you have to communicate because some people can't you know, read your mind. So you have to communicate and express what works for you, what doesn't work for you. But more importantly, you got to teach people, people how to treat you by the way that you treat yourself. So now spirit is expecting you to express yourself because that five deals with, you know, the throat chakra in addition to, you know, that, um, hierophant energy. Um, so the five is really also, um, honing your skills, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, um, artistically or creatively, but also expressing yourself. This is a form of expression, artistic, creative, or just expressing yourself communicatively. And so what's hidden is there could be someone coming in, expressing this love. Someone could be expressing, um, th this could be someone that I feel you potentially could have manifested, you know, um, because this is like, what I'm gathering is like, this is someone very mature. I'm getting a mature man or a mature woman, uh, someone who's well-learned, well-experienced, uh, someone who's been there, did that is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So you're not going to have to worry about the child's play, the games, uh, someone trying to, you know, soil it real old, so someone being a player, someone, you know, just like, you know, a gold digger, like you're not going to have to deal with those childish, immature, um, you know, um, behaviors, like you're going to have someone that's very intentional, that's coming in, um, ready, willing, and prepared to, to build, to cultivate, to nurture, and to, you know, grow this, this relationship, you know, to a family unit. 
Um, this is someone solid. I'm getting solid because the five is like, you know, when you think of five, you got five fingers. When you ball it up, this is someone that's going to be, you know, you and this person's relationship is going to be tight as a fist. That's what I'm hearing in my mind. I'm seeing like a fist. So it's like you, you ball it up. It's like tight as a fist. That's what this relationship is. This is someone that you're going to have just that bond. You're going to have that, that, like I said, that synergy, that chemistry and the connection is just beautiful because the five also, you know, can also speak to marriage. It could speak to, you know, those, um, very strong commitment, um, commitments, you know, you can be coming into a very strong commitment with this person as well. So the next card we have is completion. So there is a sense of like, you know, cycles are wrapping up. As I said, that's why you have this happy ending because, you know, things are turning out better than they may have initially started. And that is all due in part to you taking the necessary time, you know, as the wounded warrior to really lick your wounds, heal and, and, and learn from the experience opposed to growing angry, scornful, vindictive and, and, and having all this animosity and resentment. Nah, you did the work. You went within, you know, you went right within, you know, like that hermit. And you started to, you know, heal that self. And, you know, so this could also be the energy of who or what you're attracting as well. Is someone that is prepared um, because now they have wrapped up something. Um, and now there's this fresh start. So we also have self-love. See that? This is what's hidden. So now someone now is reborn, re-emerges with the sense of self-love, putting themselves first. This is literally this card, interchangeable. So the rebirth is that you love that, you love that self. You can't love that self unless you heal that self. And that's literally what I said verbatim in the beginning of the reading without the cards. You could rewind, bring it back selector so you could hear it. But this self-love is the new and improved version of you. That's this. This is personal growth. Personal growth, healing, happiness. This is healing at a soul level, healing at an emotional level. And now you have the self-love. This is what's hidden. So you had to get rid of the ego, get rid of the false, you know, false mask, get rid of the fake people, get rid of the snakes. You had to cut your grass. You had to work on you. You had to do some self-work, self-healing, internal work. And in doing that, this is how you emerge because you got all the way up to the crown chakra. So this crown chakra is you now being more enlightened, having a spiritual awakening, being more in tune, intuitive, more discerning. And we have this Talib Kweli still playing. Someone could be from Brooklyn. Someone could be from France. We also have um, Kambada and he's from Connecticut. So I feel like there's definitely this energy and it's called ground um, God's day. So this is you now, you know, you're more uh, tapped into your God frequency. You're more tapped into that Christ consciousness, which means you're more intuitive, like I said. And you're also, you know, you're, you're um, very particular, very mindful of who you open your heart to. But I feel that's another reason why spirit is saying like, look, you're ready, you're prepared. You don't have to have all of these walls and all this, this, um, you know, all these walls up because, you know, you, you also can block what you want. You know what I'm talking about? I'm getting the sense of you blocking what you want. That's why the alarm is there because you don't want to have this false sense of, um, of, of, um, protection. You know, of course you have to protect thyself, protect your energy, but I feel like they want you to, to, to be able to discern and use your intuition to make these decisions. Just speak energy. You know, if the person's energy don't vibe with yours, you already know that's not your person or that's not the situation you should be a part of it. That's not something you want to get involved in. Like that's what they want you to utilize. Now that's your, use your spiritual compass. Ooh, I like that. Thank you. Spirit, your spiritual compass, you know? Wow. Next we have new beginning. See that a very fresh start. I was picking up on a new beginning here. You have it pretty much. Everything I said is, is here. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't make this up. I said everything that's come out pretty much. Um, but you have this new beginning, what you realize, what you don't realize. So every ending, as we said, that is absolutely the precipice of something amazing coming in. I feel someone passionate is coming towards you as well. This is going to be something new, something amazing, something that you, I feel, have manifested because the one does deal with the magician, the magi, I, magi, nation. You have manifested this. You've visualized. You've written down in your manifestation rituals. You could have been doing manifestation rituals. You could have been speaking these words into the ethers because words are spells, spells, bond. You could have been doing all of the aforementioned because you realize that you have alchemical force that you can channel, hone in, utilize, co-create with source. And what you've been working on 
because you've been manifesting love. I feel you're manifesting not only love, you know, your person, but you could be manifesting your purpose, your passion. You're just manifesting. This is beautiful. And we have the six love on the bottom of the deck. Let's get our card for the outcome. So the cards all chose themselves. I was still doing the, the shuffle. I haven't even cut the deck. We're going to cut the deck now, though, just to keep it traditional. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What message do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. Peace, power, and protection spirit. I like to cut three or four times. Bottom of the deck, we have 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. Remember we saw 7-7 seven, seven earlier when I split the card and this 93 jumped out. And what did I say about you needing to surrender? I can't make this up. So spirit's telling you surrender. Stop being a hard ass. Hard head makes it soft fast. Like, chill out. It's all right. Like, you Gucci, beloved. Like, you're good. You don't have to have the wall. You don't have to mean mug. You don't have to be. Because spirit is saying you're already ready. You're already ready. You're ready for whatever you want. Open up. Spirit is like, let me in. You, I, I got special delivery. I got the packages you've been asking for. Got the gifts. Like, let them in. Like, 7-7 seven, seven, spirituality. Trust your intuition. I feel you have a dope connection coming in. With this 7-7, seven, seven, whenever I see double numbers, for those of you that may be tuning in for the first time, I feel like that's you attracting something or someone that's um, in your frequency, on your frequency, same vibration. And the 7, as I said, that deals with the crown chakra. You are absolutely awakened spiritually. There's no doubt about it. You're also being told, trust your intuition. I feel you are connecting with someone that is also you know, very spiritual. I was picking up a spiritual union, spiritual bond, someone you have synergy chemistry with, and this is just confirming that. I feel whoever this is, I feel communication is coming. I feel there's a lot of communication. Let me see what all these numbers break down to, but you have to open up, you know what I'm saying? Because when you are closed off and when you're not, you know, um, receptive, like I said, you can miss opportunities that way. You know, golden opportunities are trying to come in, but if you are so guarded or if you're so like so stuck in your head or you're so routined or so like in this spirit of lack, you can miss the, you know, you can miss these blessings. You can miss opportunities and you don't want to do that because you deserve this. So spirit is saying surrender, you know, stop trying to control the narrative. Stop trying to control period. You know, I feel you do because this is also 10. So if you have been, you know, kind of creating these boundaries and these walls, I feel like you are slowly, but surely kind of letting them, letting them down, you know, opening up. Oh, look at, this is why spirit is like, if you, you open up what you've been asking for in terms of love and having that sense of balance, maybe even the partnerships in business, whatever it is, it could come in, you know, but you got to make the necessary moderations. You know, you have to make those changes that 14. Remember that 14 that we saw earlier or that I was um, speaking to earlier um, is also, you know, like I said, temperance. So the temperance is really about, you know, divine timing. You know, it's about the timing of things. And this 87 just jumped out, you know, so I do feel like some of y'all could be seeing a lot of synchronicities at this time. And I feel like that's also spirit's way of communicating with you. And look what we have here playing with this is Casa overall. And it says what's new with you. So this is, again, the reemergence of you. I feel other people can see what's new with you as well. Like they could see this new version of you. This is why you could be coming off very attractive. So let's get these messages again. So this is one, 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 three. Let me see. Um, three, one, three, four, five. Three, one, four. Four and five, nine. So the highest number of change. And I feel like spirit is saying it's con time to come out of the change because um, ch time to come out of the cave because this all breaks down to nine. Nine deals with the hermit. And I was picking up y'all being like, you know, kind of like that wounded warrior, still looking your wounds, still reflecting and looking, you know, but the hermit is a wizard and he knows that, you know, he or she knows that the answers he seeks are found within. So, you know, that's a very important process in the healing is to just kind of do it alone, do it privately and in the dark, you know, a lot of healing takes place in the dark. A lot of growing, I should, should say, takes place in the dark. When you think of a seed that you plant, you plant it in the earth in the dark. 
um, but that seed eventually grows and blossoms into beautiful flowers, beautiful plants, beautiful trees. So I feel like you have been kind of in seclusion for quite some time. And that could be what spirit is saying. Okay. It's time to, you know, now get out, get yourself back out there, put yourself out there, you know, um, don't be scared. <laughs> I heard don't be scared. It's like time to come out of that hermit mode and really time to go and take charge, uh, you know, towards what you, towards what you want. It's time to pursue your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, beloved, and live out your truth. I feel like a lot of y'all, um, you know, it could be spiritual practitioners, teachers, healers, shamans, light workers. Um, you could just have a spiritual business. You could be, you know, um, you know, healers of some sort. So let's tap in. Let's see what we have coming and going out, going on. Let's get another deck, beloved. How, what, what are we doing with the time? Ooh, 54, 54, never any um, kawinky dinks or accidents. All of these cards reduced to nine. We just saw 54, 54, nine, nine, nine. That still breaks down to 27, which breaks down to what? Nine. Anything going into nine is always going to be that number. So if three goes into nine, it's going to be 12. 12 breaks down to three. If 14, you know, that's going to be five, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? But so it's nine. So spirit is, is confirming that there is change now because nine is the highest number and vibration of change. I also feel it's confirmation that you are like just focusing on you, yourself and you. That's my de la soul energy. I'm seeing as well. The nine of cups, you know, when you think of the nine of cups, he got this big old smile. He has his arms crossed. And I feel that's why spirit is saying surrender, open up your heart chakra, open up and allow people in, you know, because you genuinely um, you truthfully, I should say, are ready for love. But if you are closed off, blocked off, then love can't come in because you're too guarded. So spirit is saying, you know, open up a little. I also see wish fulfillments and blessing coming in because I see that nine of pentacles as well, where you're stable, self-sufficient, the seeds that you've sown in good faith are now starting to blossom and flourish and you will have, uh, this blossoming abundance. So that is a beautiful energy. We also have Dave East, Godfather featuring Nas. So some of you all, you know, you may hear from a godfather. Maybe you have a godfather um, that has transitioned and they're making, you know, their way um, into this reading. Someone's name could be Dave. Someone could live on the East Coast or someone could be living east of you. Maybe there's a godfather that really, you know, was very... Um, you know, they played a major part in perhaps raising you or helping you in life. You know, maybe your own father passed away and a godfather stepped up and helped raise you. I'm getting that sense as well. And I'm also seeing this number four because it says godfather four. So this could be a masculine for, from definitely coming through. Maybe someone has transitioned. But that four does deal, you know, again with the heart chakra. But it also is the number of, you know, that divine masculine. So let's see what else we're going to pull out. Let's get some messages from, I want to get some messages from the uh, secret language of light. Let's get some messages from that. So there's a, car, a bonus card inside. I'm going to take that as a bonus message. And it says soul craft. And this is the number 10. So that's powerful. So I feel like spirit is saying that you have been on um, this journey, you know, this spiritual journey, dark night of the soul journey, whatever you want to call it, but it has helped to reinvent and re, um, it's been, you know, it, it's been a journey, but it's helped to, to reinvent you, to help you to regenerate in some form, in some way. And this ending now is what's leading to a beautiful, happy, um, you know, I mean this, you know, and this beginning of your soul journey is ending very happily as we can see here. So this, this has really helped to shape you into the person that you are, you know, this has really helped to shape you and develop you spiritually to help you really see your own strengths, to help you really, you know, come into your own power. This is dope. I love this reading y'all. So on the bottom of the deck, we have uh, create space. So this is absolutely what you had to do. You had to be in that hermit mode, as I said. You had to create that space so that you could grow, so that you can emerge this person that's new. Because when you got so many people um, in your ear giving you unsolicited advice or, you know, constantly just, da -dun -da -dun, just constantly just chipping away um, or chirping away, 
um, it, you can get confused, you know. So with that energy, I just get strongly um, that, you know, you, you did what you had to do to kind of uh, come into your own, you know, to come into your own. And we have the Brothers Johnson, I'll be good to you. So who or what you're attracting to you is someone, like I said, that's going to be solid. I feel like this is a solid person. Like no, they ain't coming into play. They ain't coming in to waste time. Uh, Spirit is telling you get ready because with create space, I'm also getting a sen sense of like, you know, start preparing for your person because they're almost here. So start creating a space where you are um, opening yourself up to love, you know, so don't speak in that lack mentality like i'm not looking for no relationship start creating the space in your life even you know where you can as i said visualize that you have the things that you are manifesting already but definitely make room for uh this person that's coming in you know make sure you have your own space if you are you know in a space now where you could be rooming and you know you want your own, you know, you want a, a relationship with somebody. So create the space. Start preparing, in other words, um, for that. So let's tap in. So let's uh, shuffle these cards, beloved. I don't even know how these cards go. How do I shuffle these? I don't want to mess it up. You know what? Oh, man. I think I already did mess it up. Oh, these are all upside down. Let me do it like this. Okay. I'm just going to shuffle these normally because they're small anyway. I'm going to just shuffle them like this. So Divine Spirit, why is Rebirth here? 16 Rebirth for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. My Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. Why is this Rebirth here? Thank you, Spirit. And so we have channeling. So what did I say? You are absolutely in, you know, the spiritual uh, gift. You know, you have spiritual gifts because this is the card that's on the bottom of the deck for when we um you know get the message for how someone feels about you katara is always just you know right here hi friend you gotta wait though because i am doing a reading i love you but you gotta sit right there you can't sit in my lap honey not right now so we have meditation so it says eight meditation so this could be um the means to how you have been able to you know kind of ground yourself you know when you 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 meditate you get things straight you know so taking that time to go within, taking that time to, as I said, just kind of release, purge, and let go of things that no longer serve you. But this also makes you stronger. This also brings you um, into alignment with your higher self. You receive the download. You tap into your God frequency, as I said, through meditation. And this is what has, you know, also like been the catalyst to some sort of, um, you know, transformation or this catalyst to your rebirth, you know, you growing. Um, with I'll be good to you, I do feel like someone is also very grounded. Someone that's going to bring this this very zen-like energy, peace, love, you know, balance into your life. Like this is someone that's very chill, you know, um, not hostile, not not um, intense, you know. It, it's it's a very peace, zen-like energy, um, and you could clearly see there's love here. You know, there's a heart, you know, right at the crown. Um, right above the crown, I should say, you know, and this just, this is just how you've emerged as well. This love of self has just kind of encompassed you. And as I said, how you, uh, love yourself, you exude that energy and that makes you more attractive. So you are absolutely drawing and pulling people into your orbit. Um, you also have nourish. So you are nourishing, uh, someone you're being fed or you're feeding someone else. This is really an energy of like, you know, feeling fulfilled, you know, feeling, com you know, uh, content even, you know, and you feel content because you have been responsible for nourishing yourself. So you're not allowing for someone else to be responsible for your validation. You're finding your own fulfillment in yourself. You're finding your own happiness, your own love, you know, in yourself. And when you love yourself in that way, like I said, when you heal that self, you love that self. And when you love that self, you know that self. So that's why you're feeling fulfilled. That's why you're feeling nourished. That's why you feel satisfied. So whoever you're attracting to you, this person will also feed to you what they see you feeding to yourself. 
that's that energy of someone that's going to give to you equally as well because how they feel about you is like you match their fly their vibration you speak their love language we had Talib Kweli speaking love language and what did I say about feeling satisfied literally two minutes two seconds ago and there goes Marvin Gaye saying just to keep you satisfied so this person is coming in to nourish you to keep you satisfied and we have channeling so someone is very much aware that you are intuitive because that too does deal with the high priestess as well. So trust your intuition. Someone does feel you just have a natural ability to, you know, tap into your psychic abilities or your, you could be a scryer, a psychic, a intuitive a channeler. Um, but they see you as someone, um, you know, who's, who's, uh, who's, um, gifts are very amplified. If you will, you think these things just come naturally to you. You may be able to see right through them. You may be able to just call them out in their bull crap. Like, it's just like they, they, they that's what attracts them to you, though. They're not intimidated um, by the least. You know, this is what makes them more attracted to you. With gay, I'm getting that, that other, um, you know, the terminology gay means happy. So this is someone that you, they feel you make them happy. You know, when you hear gay, um, most people think of the lifestyle. I'm not thinking of the lifestyle with that Marvin Gaye. Someone's name could be Marvin as well. Um, but I'm just getting gay. Like that's just someone that makes you feel happy. They feel happy. They feel grounded around you. They just feel like they could do anything. Like they could take on the world. So why is the 74 nature here for how this person who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Why is this nature card here 74 let me get a message of peace power and protection this is a part of your karma dharma is what i'm hearing as well that's powerful and this card is sticking up i'm gonna take that as well so it says authentic truth see that that 11 deals with the justice and justice is all about truth and justice so someone is coming in to speak a truth to you this is a divine masculine but this person sees you being your authentic self, and that's what makes you so alluring. That's what makes you so attractive. That's what what's like making them like so like it's a magnetic pull, you know? And this triangle that you see, that triangle, you know, speaks to um being in alignment, mind, body, and soul. And this 7411, you know, like I said, that deals with justice. So it's like the seeds that you've sowed in the past is why you're getting this. And this is you now living your authenticity. I can't make this up. They see you living your truth. You're being your authentic self, which makes you, it always makes you more attractive when you are being your authentic self. When you're wearing masks and you got these false egos and these attitudes, that ish is just a turnoff. But this person sees you shining as that regal, royal goddess, empress, emperor that you are. And it says, you are the universe. So you and I verse, that's what I'm hearing. So you are the center of this person's universe because I heard you and I verse. And look what we have here. This is 11, 11. So this is a twin flame. This is someone that feels like you, the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. So this 11, 11 is four. That's the vibration and frequency of four. This is how they feel about you. Like you are the one that got away or you're the one, you know, if this is someone, you know, from past life, you're the one that got away and they catch them right back up to you. But if this is someone new, they definitely feel like they could build with you. And that's another four. So 11, 11 is four and this is four. So they feel you're a wish fulfillment. They feel your wish come true. They could be mustering up the strength, courage to come towards you. Or maybe just, you know, they see you as strong because that eight deals with strength. You have vitality, you are attractive. They have this adoration, admiration for you. And we have 43, enlightenment. Someone is waking up to the truth. That's why these endings are here. As I said, I saw tens as endings initially. But someone is getting rid of the false pride, the ego. Because remember, we had this uh, pride. But that's the end of, you know, this old toxic version of you know something because when you are in operating in your pride and ego that's really something that you develop or create to protect yourself it's a protective mechanism but when you realize like okay this actually is just like putting a pacifier in a crying baby's mouth you know instead of just popping a pacifier in the mouth figure out what the baby what's what's really discomforting the child you know it's easy to just hear suck that 
But you know, maybe the child wants to be held. Maybe the child needs that love. Maybe the child needs to hear your voice. Maybe the child needs a, a diaper change. Like I'm just using that as an example, but it's like no, no pacifying is going on. You're, you're living your authentic self when you get rid of the pride, the ego, and you stand off, you know, perpendicular in your square and, and own your ish, good and bad, you know? And that's how you own, that's how you truly have new beginnings. When you create and invent a new you through this rebirth, that's how you emerge someone new. When you get rid of the false self, this is a powerful ass reading y'all love this. And look at that. You gain enlightenment in the process that 43 deals with what? your crown and we already saw that this is where you are self-love one of the many things you you were able to acquire when you get rid of the pride the ego and the false sense of self you become more enlightened so that's powerful and we have diana ross and marvin Gaye, and it says my mistake see that so now you're enlightened to the mistakes that you've made. If this isn't you, this is someone else. But now you're enlightened to the mistakes, which means that you're no longer just like, you know, making excuses and, you know, woe is me. There's no more self-loathing because now you're being a grown woman, a grown man about yours, and you're taking onus and accountability. You got to heal. In order to heal, you have to be truthful and honest. Katara, can you please not like clean yourself in the middle of, hey, can you do that somewhere else, my love? You're on candid camera right now. Katara, please. Oh, thank you, my friend. I love you. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so let's see what we um, have for what's hidden in the energy. I love you. She's like, you just going to disrespect me in front of people. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you for slow blinking. You get it? <laughs> so why is 46 domestic harmony? 19 pride, nine completion, 61 self-love and new beginnings here for what's hidden. Okay. A couple of cards fell on the floor and we are back at channeling. So trust your intuition. As I said, you could also be channeling some very pertinent, powerful, you know, um, information right now. Tap into your intuition, trust your intuition. Cause remember we have this seven, seven spirituality, seven deals with the crown. Seven also is, you know, dealing with that chariot energy. So this is something that could be potentially coming in. Uh, but we have alignment. So you're now in alignment with yourself. I feel that there's this sense of, you know, balance, as I said. Um, you can see that there's like this sword. So the sword always represents communication. It also represents, you know, cutting yourself free from people, places, things, purging yourself, um, clearing out the negativity, you know. But this is also your angels because there's angel wings, uh, as I said, you know, that could be aligning you with your person, purpose, passion. So there's blessings. Whenever you see these angel wings, your angels are, you know, providing angles, but also answering um, your prayers and your petitions, answering, um, you know, those questions. And, and what we have here, um, answering those questions, pardon me. But what we see here is we got one, two, three, four, five. I see five stars here. So spirit is saying, you know, whenever, because it make, it's making me think of school. So as I said earlier, the five deals with the Hierophant, which is about teaching, learning. It's about studentship. It's about research and growing, honing your skills, mastering your craft. But when you think of in the pro, like in, in, the, in the context of school, I remember back when I was in like, you know, like elementary and stuff like that, we would get literal red stars, gold stars when we pass a test or do well on a test. And I look at that, I liken these stars to spirit saying, Yes, you've passed that test. Yes, you've passed that test. And remember what I was saying about five, you know, about five being a solid number, you know, and that five being tight as a fist. So I feel like you've matured and that's why you are, you know, being rewarded because you finally come into alignment with yourself. You also have, there's only light. So there's only light now. You all have come out of a dark period. So you only have to look forward and look towards, you know, good, inf you know, good vibrations. The light is giving me sun vibration, you know, and the sun always makes everything happier. It makes everything more clearer. It gives you that sense of vitality and strength and joy. It's representative, representative of new beginnings, um, fresh starts. And so this is going to bring a lot of happiness. And I do feel, you know, for some of you all, there are uh, some, some plans that you could be making, but this is a beautiful, beautiful reading y'all. So channeling, you could be channeling a lot of information at this time. 
you know, and, and you need to start, I'm hearing take notes of whatever you're channeling, you know, take notes because these are downloads. These are ideas. You know, the, the, this is like spirit is giving you ideas. Spirit is giving you answers and you can lose it, you know? So as you're channeling, you could channel and write things down. You could channel hearing things, whatever you're hearing, whatever you're channeling through spirit, write it down, you know, and don't share it with anyone because this is, this is for you, you know, especially for you, you know, cause there's, there's powerful downloads being communicated to you either even in your dreams Wow, that's powerful. Why is the 77 spirituality here for the outcome? Why is the spirituality card here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And we have um, color. See that? So that color is about vibrancy. You know, color also is saying you may need to, you know, add a little more color. You know, you can start utilizing um, the days of the week um, and, and wearing colors associated with the days of the week or the, the chakras, you know what I'm saying? Because that also, um, helps in you really, um, being able to hone in on the power and the energy, um, you know, that, that color res, you know, cause it's, it's all frequency. So it's like, you know, maybe correlate, you know, coordinate, um, you know, your colors in, in it to correlate, coordinate your colors to correlate with the days of the week, figure out what day of the week represents which chakra and do that, you know, but I, I just feel like spirit is saying you need more color in your life, which means you need more excitement. You need more adventure. You need to see things. Maybe you've been just holed up in the house, looking at the four walls. Maybe things have just been very dark. If you're in a household with a lot of black or a lot of grays, it's time to like lighten things up. You know, it's time to really lighten things up. Um, but this is also the four. I feel like, you know, this person, whoever this masculine, cause I'm getting the, uh, divine masculine is coming in to bring, you know, that, that light, that excitement, that joy back into your life. And the cards that actually flew out is we have 45, let your light shine. So remember what I said about, you know, um, you know, just kind of being holed up and blocked off spirit wants you to let go, you know, let go of the need to control the narrative and just be your authentic self. You know, let people introduce people to the authentic you. Don't, don't feel like you got to hide yourself. Don't feel like you can't let yourself just go. Like you have to live in your authenticity or else you'll always be hiding, but let your light shine because you have a lot to offer the world. And I feel like this is a, a change, you know, because this is very similar to even, um, this, uh, you know, meditation card to me, this is like one and the same, you know? So meditation, you could be getting downloads, but with this, let your light shine, maybe you are going to start living, um, in your authenticity. And it's because, you know, spirit has already communicated that it's okay. You know, it's okay. Your people are out there. You'll bump into your people. Your soul tribe is out there. You don't have to worry about being, you know, the only one because you have, you know, a tribe of folks that are going to be on your frequency. And we clearly see that because you have seven, seven. Like I said, when I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you attracting, you know, someone that's in your likeness, you know, so let your light shine so that others can, you know, be activated, you know, so others can be triggered. So others can be inspired so you can awaken others, you know, maybe that's your responsibility because this is the number, um, you know, seven, seven, which breaks down to 14, which breaks down to five. And that five is all about, you know, your creative and artistic self, your express, you know, expressing your authentic self, you know, so spirit is like, let your light shine. And next we have awakening. What did I say? There's an awakening going on, a spiritual awakening. You know, this is definitely someone that's finally realizing, um, that they want to, you know, take action. We got D'Angelo lady. So someone sees the goddess in you, as I said, or the God in you, D'Angelo's from VA. Someone could be dealing with a divine feminine. So this is beautiful. Someone is really having some sort of epiphany or some sort of aha moment. Um, and I feel like not only is it, um, that someone's having that within themselves, but someone's having that, you know, perhaps about a connection or about someone that's coming in. So what do I want to do now? Cause we got some dope cards. Let's get some tarot cards. Spirit's like, let's do some tarot. And I want to use the traditional tarot because I reference it a lot. You know, look what's on the bottom of the deck. I referenced the four of wands and look what's here. So we got the four of wands. Remember when I was talking about that 1111. So this is the vibration of four. So there is love, there's stability, 
there's security. There could potentially even be some sort of marriage ceremony or commitment ceremony or just you and someone, you know, developing some sort of spiritual partnership. But I do see joy, peace, happiness, love. I see people working together. I just see things, you know, hand, you know, be just working out in your favor. This is beautiful. So we got the eight of pentacles, someone coming in very intentional, even your work paying off, being very focused, goal oriented. I feel whatever you've been working on, it's providing stability, security. You feel self-sufficient. You know, this is beautiful, man. I love it. That's also someone that you may know from work, someone you could work with, or someone that you're familiar with. Maybe this is someone that lives in your community. You got the Queen of Cups here. This is beautiful energy. You don't even realize that something beautiful is coming in. I mentioned that Four of Pentacles, and this card back here is trying to hide. So you do have some news coming in. There's some exciting news that's rushing in, and that's what's going to bring, you know, some sense of um, happiness. You know, you're going to feel very happy. Look at what's hiding right there, the Ace of Pentacles. See that? And the Eight of Cups I'm seeing. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like they're showing themselves by happenstance, so there's good news pertaining uh, perhaps, you know, money. There could be someone coming in, like I said, very intentional. Um, you know, someone that is absolutely... Um, very intentional about what they want. So they're offering tangibles. Like, you know, they may offer, like I said, that's why I feel like spirit was saying, like, make room, you know, make room for this person. Maybe this person is closer than you can even imagine, but there's something coming in. We got the four of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So remember I mentioned like, you know, kind of like even holding back, someone holding on, you know, but the three of pentacles is showing like work paying off. Maybe you're, you're going through some process where, um, you know, you could be going through training class. Maybe you're learning something new. I feel whatever you're learning, it's leading to this stability, this security. This could even speak to marriage even because I always see this like this is a marriage ceremony because someone is kind of like, you know, he's just kind of like here looking at these two people. And this could be even like, even if it's not marriage, but maybe it's just coming into new business partnerships. But this King of Pentacles is confirming that, you know, your business, we got De La Soul, the business playing. So I feel like your business, your financial business, you know, is going to be very successful because the king of pentacles is like, he got that Midas touch, you know, and he's not afraid of hard work. He's not scared of hard work. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty. He can, you know, really get in there. He's like a business mogul, business mind, but he's also someone very devoted, you know, it's a devoted person. It's a very, um, supportive type of energy. Someone is willing to support your dreams, ladies. Masculines, this feminine is willing to support your dreams. Bring some peace. Didn't I tell you all the two of cups? You got the two of cups here. This is what's bringing this happy ending, your soul craft. So this is like, you know, this is what's destined, you know. This is a beautiful divine love story. It's written in the stars. This is why you're going to be happy. You're coming into union not only with yourself, coming into harmony not only with yourself because you took the time to heal that self. That's what the one cup is all about. You have to first heal you. That's why I was saying you can't give from an, uh, you know, an empty vessel and love is an inside job. So that's why they're both holding their own chalice because they've done that internal work and they've healed and now they have something to offer the other. And if you look, there's like angelic wings there, which means that this is your angels and your guides bringing you into alignment with your divine person. And it required patience. If you look at number 14, that deals with temperance. So a divine patient, because this is going to be someone finally opening up and expressing perhaps these feelings, these emotions, and, you know, expressing their truth. I also mentioned the four swords where there's this energy of complacency, this energy of, you know, discontent and boredom, or, you know, just feeling this lack, you know, not taking action, feeling very guarded. Of course, yes, you're, you're recovering, but spirit is saying you're already recovered. You're already, you're already ready. You know what I'm talking about? And this rebirth, that's why you're having this rebirth because you're coming out perhaps of this energy. So let's tap in. So I 16 rebirth meditation eight and 23 nourish here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. That could even be your energy. Anything I'm speaking could be not only your energy, but the person you're attracting to you if it doesn't apply, but because I'm doing Scorpio readings, I'm always, you know, referencing you first. So divine spirit wise 16. Thank you. The card flew on the floor and we have the nine of swords, someone trapped, you know, suffering from mental anguish, confusion. That's what the rebirth is all about. Gotta get out of your head. I was talking about somebody just in the dark, 
you know, just kind of like needing some color. That's why the color is there. This three of wands is here. Someone's planning, preparing, strategizing to get out of this, this space. You know, this could be someone who has, um, you know, like I said, self-imposed mental anguish or someone who's in that lack mentality or someone's creating these false narratives. And I feel that that's another reason why, um, you know, the angels have this sword here, you know, to kind of cut you free from that negative, um, energy, you know, that's like, um, that's like attachments that could even be that pride, you know, someone in their pride, someone in their ego. And we have uh, Mary J. Blige and R. Kelly, it's on. So someone does have, you know, some sort of regrets. I don't know if this is someone you know, but I'm getting a sense of someone having some sort of regrets. But I also feel like, you know, whoever this is, is they're, they're working on changing or transforming. Because I see the meditation card here as well. And meditation is really a, an opportunity for someone to contemplate, to get something straight. So they're going to get out of their head. And that's why spirit is saying, you know, meditate, stop, stop thinking, overthinking and meditate and then get out in nature. So we got the three of wands. You're expecting something or maybe someone had some sort of expectations and it didn't go as planned. So why is this? I want to get one more card for this. Um, why is this nine of swords here? Let me get another message for this nine of swords spirit. Come on now. I can't get 50,000. They gave me 45 billion cards. I did mention the hangman. So someone is, you know, being forced to look at things from a different perspective. So this is like, okay, they're finally, you know, spirit is putting someone in a sacrificial position and we got the three of cups. So this is rejoice and celebration. Perhaps someone is like envisioning this. Someone is kind of like, you know, hoping to, you know, have this moment of celebration. Someone could be visualizing this or thinking, overthinking, you know, you, you live in someone's mind or maybe someone is um, strategizing some sort of plan to come towards you, they will eventually take action because the King of Wands is someone that's very action-oriented, very passionate. Someone feels like they've missed an opportunity potentially, but Spirit is offering this Ace of Cups and someone's just sitting here, what did I say about self-loathing and sulking? That's that type of body language right there. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the moon. This is definitely trusting one's intuition. But this is also saying like, you know, um, there's things that are hidden, you know, there are some things that are working, um, behind the scenes and then you got the eight of wands. So someone I feel does get out of this space. I'm going to put these cards back and, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Justice Mention justice. And there it is. So the justice card, you're getting your just due. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. When I pull the message, um, for how they feel about you. So they feel like you absolutely, um, are someone who speaks the truth. You know, they see you as someone very authentic you know, very genuine, you know, very real. And uh, I also feel this person knows that in order to, um, you know, come towards you, they're going to have to present themselves in the same way. They're going to have to be very real, very genuine. Um, but I feel a truth is coming towards you. This is how someone feels. I also feel like this is someone that could potentially even see like, you know, um, they, I'm hearing longevity. So this ain't somebody just coming in, you know, to play, but they can see like long term. So you see how these two cards are sticking out. I'm going to take those two cards as your messages. And it's actually three. There goes the Ten of Pentacles that I mentioned. So someone can see family. They can see this whole, you know, legacy, building the legacy. This is someone that will be loyal. You know, there's two dogs because they see loyalty in you. They want to present that. Like I said, this is someone that absolutely has bigger visions their, their vision of you um how they see you is they see stability they see security they see nurturing they see that you have this maternal or paternal quality that's very attractive very alluring and this is someone that definitely will come in intentionally we also have the five of wands didn't i mention a five of wands being confused conflicted listening to the dun -dun -dun, having a lot of naysayers having a lot of people in your head this is someone confused because they were listening to the wrong people, taking unsolicited advice. This is the reason why they had to go into hermit mode. This is the reason why you went into hermit mode. Someone may have felt like there was a lot of competition. They had to get through, a, you know, go through a lot just to get to the prize. And it's like, is it worth it? So they realize, you know, perhaps maybe they self-sabotage or maybe they realize they sabotage the situation. There goes the king of cups. This is a very loving, very devoted, very... I'm very emotionally intelligent. This compliments, you know, this is a, a water sign. So it compliments another water sign. 
This is someone that feels very deeply, but they also could be uh, someone very um, reserved. You know, they don't really express as what they feel. Um, this is someone that also could be at a distance, you know, trying to plan, prepare. I feel like they, you know, kind of had to hush the noise. Maybe they had a lot of people, you know, in their ear, getting some, some things um, confused when it came to you. You know, maybe they were confused. They were a little confused. I get confusion, you know, and this is conf self-imposed confusion in my opinion, because how they see you is they see you as like, you just come off very, very, um, inviting, you know, very earthy, very down to earth, very wise, very grounded. You ground them. And we have Tracy Chapman, uh, give me one reason, you know? So give me one reason. So with Tracy, someone's name could be Tracy. So with give me one reason, you know, perhaps this person has been thinking of, you know, reasons why they should or shouldn't approach you or should or shouldn't reach out to you, you know, and um, they're definitely kind of spying, but they're prepared and ready, you know, to express something. So what's, why is 46 domestic harmony, pride, 19, nine completion, 61 self-love, one new beginning, um, of alignment, and there is only light here, 30, uh, for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And then we're going to wrap it up. So you got a couple of messages. Thank you, spirit. So this is that pouty energy I was talking about. Someone that was just kind of like self-loathing. What was me? You know, see that? I can't play. I, I, I Look at that. If this isn't the most remorseful energy ever, you know, this is that person. That's that person that was very proud. And, you know, the, the, the four and the five of cups. See that? Had an opportunity and they let it slip away. Look what's hiding behind this person's back. Could have been someone, you know, that um, didn't make a wise decision. Because remember, we did see, you know, the seven... Um, I believe we saw the seven of cups. I was getting the seven of cups, like confusion, like someone who had options, but you know, no, I'm thinking of the five of wands, pardon me. So this is like, you know, a lot of competition, you know, combative energy, you know, now there's regret, remorse, um, maybe for not taking action, maybe for not, um, expressing their truth, but we also got the six of swords. So there is someone moving out of this energy, uh, moving out of a very, volatile situation turbulent situation um because now they are um enlightened and they're ready to create a fresh start someone could be mourning you know the fact that you've moved on with your life that you've left them behind because they was busy busy and partying and bullshit you know biggie got a song party and bullish and that's probably what they was doing you know getting sh shit faced pardon my language that's what i heard literally you know, partying, you know, hanging out with the wrong people that was just distracting them from doing what they were supposed to do. Um, but you, you was out, you know, you wasn't wasting more time or any of your time on the nonsense. I feel like you could be preparing for a move. You could be leaving someone behind and they're going to regret the day that they played with you because you're no longer, you know, um, you're no longer wasting your time anymore your time is like currency now uh this king of cups is watching you leave you know how they feel about you is you know they got to take action you know they have a boat on standby as well so i do feel this distance as well with this uh four of cups you know we also have this angelic presence you know that's offering a cup that this person is sitting there you know sulking so it's like you you, you got to trust your intuition because remember what i said about missing some sort of opportunity you know, there's an, a, a potential um, chance for you to miss an opportunity. And that's why spirit is saying surrender. Whether this is your energy or the person you're attracting, someone needs to hurry up and make a decision to open up because there's an opportunity that someone is going to get away, you know. So let's tap in. Why is the 77 spirituality uh, uh, awakening? So someone does wake, uh, wake up and we have let your light shine. So look what flew out. I can't make this up, beloveds. And I just saw the King of Pentacles um, peeking out. So what you have is the Ten of Cups. So you are coming into alignment with someone. This is someone that can see that happy spouse, happy house. Got the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups here. So this is beautiful energy. This is the energy that you want to see. 
someone that wants to build, grow, cultivate, nurture. And this is an awakening that someone is finally having. They're finally realizing and waking up to the truth that you are the one that got away and they're going to make a decision to come towards you because that number two is about decisions, choices. Um, and look what we have here, two of wands, as I'm talking about decisions and choices. Someone clearly is at a distance. Someone is clearly preparing a move, preparing to come toward you because they feel like they, you know, they can't live without you or you're the one for them. This is someone that finally had some sort of epiphany, someone that could have potentially been like lying to themselves, you know, someone that could have, you know, been pretending like they weren't interested in a relationship or marriage or commitment or, you know, being together, you know, but there was some sort of conflict because there could have been other people, parties involved. Um, even if it's not third party, um, entanglement, it could have just been other people's, um, advice, you know, people, you know, listening to the wrong folks, the dun -dun -dun is what I call them. But with this two of wands, they're making a decision, a choice. They're leaving indecision behind because they've made their choice. They've chosen wisely and they're coming towards you because they think the world of you. So there's definitely someone coming towards you. And this is someone that's not coming in, you know, playing any games, wasting any time. Spirit is telling me to get a couple of more messages from this deck with the initials, the numbers, and the archangels. Um, just so we can uh, take it and kick it up a notch, yours, please. And then we're going to wrap it up, beloved. We're going to wrap it up. So we are approaching almost two hours. So we don't want to get all the way there. So we got number two, as we was just saying. So someone's making a decision. I also feel trust your intuition. So the two flew out. So this two, trust your intuition. This is also confirming and validating that two of cups. Someone is, is absolutely coming in. That's going to give to you equally. This is someone that spirit is saying, um, will make you happy you two will absolutely be able to give to one another equally this is a like mind this is someone that will speak your love language we have the number w so i do feel like you will have um wealth um i absolutely feel like there is you know someone who's um really wondering about you really in a very cerebral place obviously um you live in someone's mind like you know they're constantly wondering what you're up to, what you're doing, where you're at. I'm hearing, where you at? Where, where are you? You know, so maybe you've relocated, moved. They done lost your numbers, your, your your contact information. You might not be a social butterfly like that, you know, meaning you're not on social media like that. Um, so it's like they don't have no means to contacting you. Um, and this is stressing them out. This is making them more anxious, or more um, growing, more worrisome. I'm hearing worry, you know. This is like a worry wart. Why is the 16 rebirth meditation nourish? You nourished this person. You fed them, the hangman and this uh, nine of swords. They're realizing now, like, you know, just how, um, how worthy. Maybe they didn't see your worth. We got Archangel Metatron. So this is dealing with the uh, first eye. And as you can see here, this hangman, his crown, his crown is completely enlightened. So they're gaining illumination and clarity. And that's why there's regret because now they're seeing the error in their ways potentially. But Archangel Metatron is, is making something very clear. Someone was stuck at a fork in the road. Someone was very stuck. Someone got stuck in a fork in the road because they was dealing with an ex. Whether this is you or someone you was dealing with, someone got stuck in a fork in the road because they got distracted by going backwards. They went backwards. And they failed. I'm hearing, eh, fail. When you see an X, it's like, eh. It's making me think of that game show with, um, what is that then? The Family Feud. And when you get the, the, I'm just, I hear that and I see that in my mind's eye. Why is, uh, and look, got the 12 here. So how this person feels about you, obviously, is you're an empress. This is that same person, like I said, the hangman sitting around, you know, thinking. They could be watching you because we did see that page of swords. So I do feel like it's an eye spy situation. Um, you know, if they're not... Uh, watching you per se, maybe they're maybe just pulling up old photos, old conversations, old pictures, letters, if they have those things, and this is them in a very nostalgic place. Um, we have also what's playing is we have Nas um, Bokeem Woodbine, and Bokeem Woodbine is an actor, so you know, this person may have been in the past very fake, you know, because when I think of an actor, that's someone that plays a role. Um, so they may have been very fake. They was operating in their pride and ego, um, showing you their false self. And now they realize that, you know, and they also see you 
have emerged as you know that 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 goddess that god energy that emperor the empress energy because that 12 breaks down to three which is the empress so they see that you have this sense of self-love you have this sense of self-worth they know that you know your worth and value um they see you as very powerful um and your confidence is always attractive your self-love is always attractive so they absolutely see you as someone that loves that self and they see you as strong. They see you as very courageous, very wise even. So why is this uh, 74? Thank you, spirit. So we got B. So someone definitely sees that you've bossed up is what I heard is bossing up. You know, I feel like you also um, could be dealing with someone named B. You know, I'm someone with a B in their name like Bobby, Billy, um, Brian. I'm hearing Bonitas. Maybe you got a little fatty because I'm hearing Bonita Apple. Boom. You got to put me on. So someone definitely feels like you got a fatty. Someone likes your butt, your buttocks, <laughs> your, your, uh, <laughs> they like your, your butt. Okay. Um, someone could be also very shy cause I'm hearing bashful. So whoever this King of Cups is, you know, this could be a fellow water sign. Um, this could even be how they see you, but they may feel, you know, a little bashful coming towards you. I'm hearing Brittany. I'm also hearing, um, um, uh, oh man, I had it and it slipped away that fast. Dang. I heard Bryce, Bruce, Bobby. Someone could be from Brooklyn, the Bronx. Someone be, might be in the military cause I'm hearing on base. Maybe someone lives on base, you know, lives on a military base, military um, ground, whatever that is, you know. I also have 11 that flew out, so you're getting your just due. You're definitely getting your just due. I also heard banish, you know, like you've been able to banish a lot of negativity, hexes, yokes. You've been able to cut yourself free from, you know, things that were no longer serving you. This 11 is showing that something is manifesting during this 11-11 portal. I see that you're getting wish fulfillment. This is also 11, 11, 11. Like you got 11, 11. There's a lot of 11s. So you're definitely getting your just due. Things are working out in your favor. No question about it. Someone's coming in to speak a truth. Someone wants to build with you. I'm hearing they want to build. That's powerful. They see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as strong. Look at this. Archangel Mikael showed up. So you are divinely protected. That's why they see you as someone who's like, you know, very spiritual. They see that you are, you know, it says you are the universe. And the way that I always see universe is I see you and I. So like you and I. So they see you and I verse. So you are the center of this person's universe. They see that you are, you know, that you are um, very powerful and manifesting. You know, as I said, you, you, the, the more powerful you, you become, you're able to attract things and, and, and things become gravitationally pulled into your orbit. Archangel Mikael is a lot of your spiritual fathers. He is a protector of yours. He doesn't play about you. And that's part, you know, part, you know, that could be the reason why, you know, they're being forced to like own their stuff. You know, they, they have to own it. They got remorse now because, you know, Archangel Metatron, like I said, deals with the first star. So he's helping this person to finally see where they messed up. If this is someone, you know, from the past, or this is just you working through your own and navigating through your own, um, you know, traumas. But this eight is showing that you're resilient, showing that you're strong. This also is someone seeing you as a wish fulfillment. Nine, nine of cups, energy. That's that uh, loving me, myself, and I. We saw... De La Soul earlier talking about the business, but I call the Nine of Cups my me, myself, and I card because it's like, you know, when you think of the Nine of Cups, he has his arms crossed, he got a big smile, and it's like, you know, you're now focused on self-love, you know. If you don't feel right or sit right in your spirit, you off it immediately. But spirit is saying, yes, that's good vibration to have, but you also want to be open to love. You don't want to cross, you know, because when you cross your heart, it's like you're not open, you're not receptive. It's like you're very protective. You don't want to let anyone in. You just, you know, but spirit is like, you don't have to have that type of um, energy, especially if you're trying to manifest. You know, if you're trying to manifest, then you want to be open to love. You want to be, you know, you want someone to reciprocate. 
So this nine is, is also saying that there's a positive change that's coming in. I see the nine of pentacles, stability, security, self-sufficiency, independence. That's the foundation for your happiness overall. And we got the Z. And I'm hearing zoom. Like I hear zoom. So someone is zooming the hell up out of there. They're getting out. They're bouncing. They're leaving. Someone's name could be um, Zen. I was hearing Zen mode earlier. Like you all are in this very peaceful place. Just very... Um, you know, maybe someone is, you know, getting, uh, someone's bringing in that sense of peace, that sense of Zen, perhaps, because this could be someone coming or going, depending on how you're looking at it. You know what I'm talking about? Like somebody could be coming or going, getting out of this space where you're in your head, suffering, you know, lack mentality, woe is me and, and moving on to bigger and better, you know, cause this is a five card. And then this is the six card taking action, you know, go pursuing that new beginning. You know what I'm talking about? And so we have this Z. So someone is leaving. Someone could have been sleeping on you because I'm hearing Zs. Like someone could have been sleeping on you or sleeping on um, the potential of you leaving or on your ability to um, stand direct or stand perpendicular or stand independent. You know, uh, I'm getting a sense of, um, I'm also he hearing, um, you know, because this is the last letter, you know, so this is, you know, just confirming that there's this is the end this is the last letter in the major alpha you know in the alphabet so you're leaving something's finalized something's done and we know that because we see the completion card here as well so all right so let's someone's name could start with um the letter z like um someone's name could be zion someone's name could be zen someone's name could be zariah someone's name could be um zaria um z um is there any other Z names? I don't know any other Z names. These cards were sticking out, so I want to see what these are. So we have another four. Remember, we started the reading with four. So there could be a divine masculine um, that could be leaving a situation, or coming towards you, um, you know, or coming into a situation, leaving a situation or coming towards a situation. But there also is love, I feel, in the air. You know, I definitely feel there's love coming in. And we have the E. So I heard excellent, like I feel things are evolving. I feel like you've evolved. I feel like you feel like, you know, just the energy, you know, you got, you got to speak energy and when, what, depending on the energy, you know, especially when it comes to love, you know, that's what I feel spirit is saying because, you know, the heart chakra is like, you need, you need to be reciprocated. So you got to speak energy. You know, and, and don't waste your time on people who are emotionally um, stunted either. Because I get a sense of you being very emotionally intelligent because you've really taken the time to work on yourself, taking the time to heal. So it's like, you know, make people match or fly or make sure people are meeting you where you are. And we have Buster Rhymes, You Will Never Find Another Me. So there's absolutely someone that is realizing you know, that they could have potentially lost something good because they was out here, you know, playing games, you know, and then they turn around and realize, you know, that you were the one that got away or you were the one all along and we got you. So you, 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 you definitely have to focus on you. You know, you got to love you because I'm seeing for you. So do things for you, you know, do things that are going to bring you happiness, do things that are going to, you know, make you, um, feel alive and vibrant and also like i said your independence is absolutely the foundation for your security your stability your happiness but i also feel you have someone that's coming in for you that's going to be very intentional this is someone that you're going to feel energetically the two of you have a very strong connection i feel like spirit is saying expect something you know especially for you i'm hearing especially especially for you something beautiful something is coming especially for you this is beautiful and we have um that letter h so because you've healed and you've been healing that's why this awakening has taken place you know that's why spirit is saying now your light is shining you know that's why you're spiritual you know you're utilizing your spiritual compass or your spiritual eye to see because you've healed. I'm hearing Harry, Helen, unique, you're unique. I'm hearing Iris, Idrid. 
Irvin. I hear I'm hearing Eli. Maybe some of y'all are trying to find the book of Eli. Maybe you've just watched that movie, The Book of Eli. I'm hearing Eunice, Eunice. I'm hearing Earl, Erica, e, um, Evelyn. I'm hearing um, Iman. Ike, I'm hearing Ike. And I'm definitely getting independent and strong. Someone's name could be Harry, Helen. I'm hearing someone's a hottie. Someone thinks you're a hottie. I just got a, ooh, I just got lightheaded for a second, y'all. Give me one moment. Let me get a sip of my water. Ooh. Some of y'all could be getting some downloads for real, for real. Pay attention. Pay attention. Let me get this last message and I got to shut it down, beloveds, because my I just got lightheaded like crazy. All right. So you are getting a yes answer. Someone is definitely the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. I'm definitely getting someone whose name could be Yasmin. I'm hearing... um. I'm hearing yes. I'm hearing, you know, all you got to do is say yes. I'm hearing yes, you will be happy. Yes, you will find love. If you're waiting for an answer, it's a yes. I'm definitely getting that. We also have Archangel Gabriel. You're getting some communication. You're getting communication either communicatively or, as I said, intuitively or psychically or clairvoyantly, clairaudiently. So pay attention. That's why I was just getting like pay attention. Because you're getting some divine downloads. And we also have this W when we first started the reading that came out. So there's definitely um, some messages that are coming through. And I feel like the wheel of fortune is absolutely turning things around in your failure. Um, I said fail in your um, future. Um, turning things around in your favor. So someone wants you to fail. You know, but this wheel is turning. So maybe a situation that you thought was failing or wasn't working for you. It absolutely is because the wheel of fortune is turning things around in your favor. So you have a hater that wants to see you fail. You know, someone wants to see you fail. And that's why spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. Use your first eye to see. Someone's name could be William, Wendy, Juanita. I'm also feeling like, you know, because you know your worth now, you're going to, you know, attract what you are deserving of. But someone's definitely coming in to communicate. You're going to get some good communication. And we have A, so I feel automatically your angels, your ancestors are aligning you with your purpose. I definitely feel like they're working things out in your favor. And um, they're protecting you, you know. And you got another archangel here, Uriel, underneath that. So your angels are surrounding you. Archangel flew out to, you know, about, you know, with your energy as well so i absolutely see that you have things working out wish fulfillments blessings that's another um word i'm hearing is wish fulfillments um and this is all because of the work you did on yourself you did the work spiritual work spiritual work soul work and that's why you're getting your just due but this is your reading my beloved scorpios i hope the message is resonated i thank you so much for tuning and tapping in and happy solar return, happy physical day to each and every one of you who have solar returns coming up. If your solar return is today, again, enjoy it, love yourselves, treat yourselves well, and remember to be receptive, surrender to, you know, spirit, open up, let the spirit do what they do. But thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Until next time, peace, love, and light.